Taking screenshots is an important skill to have in your arsenal. To take a screenshot on a Windows PC is fairly simple and you can do it a number of ways. These options include using the print screen key, sending screenshots to OneDrive, or capturing one with the game bar. But our favorite method is to use the snipping tool or snip and sketch. To start, just type snipping tool into the taskbar's search field and select the resulting app. Once it opens, you'll see a notification that it's moving to a new home in a future update. It still works, but Microsoft encourages you to try Snip and Sketch, and they both do basically the same thing. With the snipping tool opened, click the Mode button to expand its menu. You'll find four screen capturing options. Draw a window, freeform snip, box in an area, rectangular snip, capture the current window, window snip, and capture the entire screen, full screen snip. Once you capture a screenshot, the snipping tool interface expands to display your screenshot. When you're done editing within the snipping tool, click File in the upper left corner, and then click the Save As option listed on the drop-down menu. If you choose to use Snip and Sketch, click New in the top left corner and select Snip Now in the drop-down menu. The screen darkens and the five-button toolbar appears. In this case, the screenshot loads within the app, allowing you to crop the image, apply a marker, pencil, highlighter, and eraser. When you're ready, save the image anywhere on your PC by clicking the Disk Style button. If you want to edit and save the screenshot using any installed image editor, click the three-dot icon on the toolbar and select the Open With option on the drop-down menu. Now we'll take a look at how to take a screenshot with the Print Screen key. You'll capture the image by hitting the Print Screen button. Here's a breakdown of two different capture commands. Option one, print screen. This captures the entire screen. If you have more than one display, this function does capture everything shown across all connected displays as a single image. By default, this method does not save your image as a file, but merely sends the captured image to the clipboard. Option two, alt plus print screen. This captures a single window. Be sure to highlight the target window first, such as a document or a browser, before pressing these two keys, or three, on a laptop. This method also sends the captured image to the clipboard. Step two, open the Paint app. In this guide, we use the older Paint program because it's familiar and reliable. By default, you won't find it listed on the Start menu. Instead, type Paint in the taskbar's search field and click the resulting desktop app. Step three, paste the screenshot. With Paint open, click the clipboard style paste button located in the top left corner. You can also press the keyboard's Control and V keys to paste the image on Paint's blank canvas, which expands accordingly. With your screenshot properly inserted into Paint, you can crop, paint, create shapes, add text, and more. If you want to add stickers, 3D shapes, or effects, click the colorful Edit with Paint 3D button located in the toolbar's right end. If you're done, use the drop-down menu to select Save As and select your desired format. There are also a number of third-party options, which we've detailed on our site at digitaltrends.com. Don't forget to like this video and click subscribe.